In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the different functions you can use to effectively search in the RFI section. To get to the RFI section, scroll down the left-hand menu to where it says RFIs and click on the RFI tab. Using the tools at the top of the page, we can search for an RFI. Using the text box provided, we can input a word or phrase and the system will search the entries that have this in the title and populate below. If we know which user is responsible for answering the RFI but do not know the title, we can select the user using this menu and all RFIs assigned to the user will be displayed below. Using our date picker, we can choose a date for which the RFIs have been submitted to the system within a specific date range. Once selected and the apply and search button are clicked, all the results will be populated below with the entries from that range. You can also search for an RFI using status. This is an extremely useful tool to see which RFIs are still outstanding, coming up to a due date, or which RFIs are overdue and need to be followed up immediately. You can also change the listing for all the RFIs that have been assigned to you. This is a helpful tool because if you have a lot of traffic on your site, it's an easy way to show RFIs that are relevant to you. Clicking the quarantine checkbox allows the user to see all the RFIs that have been quarantined for a specific reason. By hovering over the quarantine icon, a reason as to why the drawing was placed in quarantine will be displayed. This is how you search for an RFI. If you have any other queries about our software, please feel free to check out our other tutorial videos or contact us. Thank you for watching.